Okay guys, um, today we'll be going through the live database, so, oh, excuse me, back in my first very tutorial, I made you set up your scene, which would benefit you, well, it benefits me, but I said you can take my, well not my, but you can take this approach to it. Now, on the side we have the live database, which is accessible by going to the material database, live, B D live DB. And it's set up like it is within the standalone of Octane Render. That's the emphasis of it. So here we have the different materials, organic, non-organic, miscellaneous, which is short for music. Um, no, music, which is short for, yeah. So let's see these in action. How does it work? Okay, so let's go to our material node editor so here we have a basic glossy now let's load up a let's load up a metal one let's open up this one so we whoops we click on the get item as you can see down here and up here there is a progress bar which is downloading the OCM I think it is the file extension um, to your node editor. Now it's running on the servers for Octane and I don't know what speed it is but since there's a few kilobytes... Oh wait, there it is. I am... I have stand corrected. So let's obviously UV wrap this very sh rubbishly, I might add. Let's just UV wrap that. Okay, better. So here we have the actual nodes from the texture we wanted. And here you are, you can now edit everything here from the power of the actual image that it is, the scaling of it for each image. Uh, we have the uh, octane absorption and the actual color, which is in the medium, I think. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. None of the colors in the specular. Um, and this um, happens for all, for any and all, for any and all textures you use. So let's just say we want to use a wood texture. Click on get item, wait for it to munch through. I'll pause it. Oh wait, no, nope, there it is again. I stand corrected. So here's the texture, and here are all the nodes associated with it. This one looks pretty good. So, oh, and one glossy. Hmm, shit. Very clever. We have a color correct node. I'm kidding. Um. Yeah. So, um, it's pretty. It's very dynamic, very accessible. Pretty much works like it is within. Um, the uh, Octane standalone, and I honestly, I th honestly think that this node editor is much more fluid, slash better than the Oct than the inbuilt standard of the uh, Octane standalone. My personal pr pr opinion, but maybe it's, just as be maybe it's just because I've been working with Blender for the past not 2014 yet, uh, for about fast four years. So um, that is a live database for you. Um, click on your materials, edit them. And you can, and yeah, just have fun with it. That this concludes my Blender Octane tutorial series until I find that I need to make more of them. Next, I might do some tutorials for how to make simple archives, simple scenes. I'll just be making scenes tutorials on how to do it. Um, probably won't be for the new year, but uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff planned for this channel next year, such as movie reviews. Triple A reviews for games, um, along with many others. I'm trying to get my Google AdSense account working again. Um, that hasn't worked since last year, since I, I was inactive from YouTube for like six months since year 12 started. And they were like, oh, you're not getting act any activity on your ads, so therefore we're going to shut you down. And that's when my motivation just went right down the window. So anyway, I'm back on track and have much more free time, hopefully next year. But yes. I'll see you next time I make a proper video on it with my DSLR. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.